Hello and welcome to Kid Design's sixth video tutorial on 1-2-3D design. In this video we'll show you how to create patterns, groups, and how to combine different shapes together. First thing I want to do is to show you how to make a simple circular pattern. Let's create a cylinder that we want to replicate around the circle. So let's take this, let's sketch a circle, let's make the center of the circle here and the end here, confirm that and now what we want to do is we want to copy this cylinder around the circle. We select the cylinder, go to pattern, circular pattern, then select the axes, which in this case is the circle. And you'll see it already previews what will happen. Now here we can change the number, we can increase the quantity, and we can even do that by dragging here. We can also make it more unique by saying well, we want, let's say, eight of them, but we don't want these two. So we can untick that. Once we've um, made our choice, Click enter and we see what happened here. We've made this cylinder, we've replicated it around the circle. And it's the same principle for rectangular patterns or path patterns. The only difference is that here we'll go around the rectangle and here we'll, uh, you will duplicate, you will copy shapes around a certain path. Okay, so that was the pattern option. Now let's get rid of this circle. We can group objects together by selecting them with your mouse and then going to group and this allows us to easily modify things together so let's say now these are a group and let's say these three are a group what we can do is we can uh, quickly select that one move and move all of them together scale them together etc so it just simplifies some steps if you want to um, do things for multiple objects. The really interesting bit for me is the combine menu. I'll show you what that does. Let's make a simple box and let's make a cylinder. Let's make them overlap. Now you can see that the box and the cylinder are overlapping. They're the same height. And if we go to combine and merge, we can choose two or more objects, select both of them, click enter, and it will basically merge them into one solid shape, as you can see here. Now this, is, this used to be a box and a cylinder, now they're one shape. I'll just undo that to show you what else we can do. If we go to combine and subtract, as you can guess by the name, if we select the first object that we want to keep and then select the object that we want to subtract, in this case the cylinder, and click enter, it will keep the box but it will subtract the part um, in which it overlaps and the rest of the cylinder. Okay, I'm going to undo that to show you the third option of combining, which is intersect. This means that it will keep everything in this area where they are actually intersecting. So if we go to intersect, click on the first solid, the second solid, and click enter, we will only get the bit in between them. Now I've done this with a box and a cylinder, but you can imagine the things that you can do with other more interesting shapes. You can dig holes which are um, quite unique. So let's try and just for demo purposes, let's just show you how you can um, make an interesting cone shaped hole in this box. All you really need is for two objects to overlap. So we have this cone entering the box, we go to subtract, we want to keep the box, then we want to subtract the cone, click enter, 
and we've made a cone-shaped hole. That's it. I hope you will uh, keep playing with this because you can really achieve some very fascinating things with just merging and subtracting different uh, shapes from each other. Thanks for watching and make sure to keep watching for other videos that we create on 1, 2, 3D design.